Welcome, dear viewer. Pause for a moment and consider subscribing to our channel for more insightful content. We're here to journey together, exploring the rich tapestry of faith, history, and the transformative power of prayer. Today, we're embarking on a unique voyage, a deep dive into a practice often overlooked, yet brimming with profound potential daily prayer. Imagine a key that unlocks a treasure chest of tranquility, wisdom, and resilience. Not just a key, but a compass, guiding us through life's stormy seas and sunlit meadows alike. That's what we're about to uncover, the hidden benefits of daily prayer. A simple conversation with our Creator, a moment of surrender, a daily devotion that holds the promise of spiritual growth and personal transformation. Intrigued? We hope so. Join us now as we delve into the untold benefits of daily prayer. Prayer, a tradition as old as humanity itself, has been a cornerstone of Christian faith. Imagine, if you will, a world before the hustle and bustle of our modern era, a time when the rhythm of life was set by the rising and setting of the sun, the changing of the seasons. In this ancient world, prayer was born. It was a way for people to express gratitude, seek guidance and find solace. It was a bridge, a connection between the human and the divine. As we journey through history, we find that prayer has always been a significant part of human existence. From the ancient civilizations of Mesopotamia and Egypt, where prayers were offered to numerous gods, to the early Hebrews, whose prayers were an integral part of their covenant with God. In the Greco-Roman world, prayer was a public ritual, an offering to the gods for the welfare of the city or the state. But with the advent of Christianity, prayer took on a new dimension. It became a profoundly personal experience, a conversation between the individual and God. The early Christians, living in a world often hostile to their faith, found strength and solace in prayer. They prayed in their homes, in secret gatherings and in catacombs. Prayer was their lifeline, their anchor in a turbulent sea. As Christianity spread across continents and cultures, prayer evolved. It absorbed the influences of the cultures it touched. Yet at its core, it remained the same a dialogue with God. The monastic traditions of the Middle Ages gave us the Liturgy of the Hours, a set of prayers to be said at specific times of the day. The Reformation brought us the Book of Common Prayer, a guide for both public and private devotion. In the centuries that followed, prayer continued to be a central part of Christian life. From the quiet, contemplative prayers of the Quakers to the vibrant, spirited prayers of the Pentecostals, the tradition of prayer has been as diverse as the people who practice it. In the modern world, prayer remains a beacon of hope and a source of comfort for millions. It is a way to celebrate joys, share sorrows, and navigate the complexities of life. It is a reminder that we are not alone, that we are part of a larger story, a story that is still being written. Prayer is more than words. It is an attitude, a state of being. It is a way to live, to love to serve. It is a way to connect with the divine, to touch the eternal. It is a way to find peace in the midst of chaos, hope in the face of despair. Prayer thus has been an unbroken thread, weaving through the tapestry of Christianity. Prayer is more than a ritual, it's a conduit for divine power. The magnitude of these words cannot be overstated. Prayer, in essence, is a spiritual exercise that transcends our earthly existence and connects us with the divine. It is a sacred dialogue, a bridge that spans the gap between our world and the spiritual realm. Prayer is not a monologue, but a dialogue. It is not about speaking at God, but speaking with God. It is not a one-way conversation, but a two-way communion. When we pray, we are not just reaching out to the divine, but inviting the divine into our lives. We are opening a door, a spiritual portal, through which the grace, the love, the power of God can flow into our lives. Prayer is a spiritual lifeline, a channel of divine communication. It is through prayer that we express our deepest yearnings, our greatest hopes, our most profound fears. It is through prayer that we seek guidance, seek strength, seek solace. It is through prayer that we give thanks, give praise, give worship. It is through prayer that we connect with God, converse with God, commune with God. Through prayer, we can tap into a reservoir of spiritual power that can transform our lives. This power can give us the strength to overcome our challenges, the wisdom to make right decisions, the courage to face our fears, the peace to calm our storms. This power can heal our bodies, heal our minds, heal our spirits. This power can bring joy and sorrow, hope and despair, 
light and darkness. Prayer is more than just words. It is a spiritual exercise that engages our mind, our heart, our spirit. It is a spiritual journey that takes us beyond the realm of the physical, beyond the realm of the temporal, into the realm of the spiritual, into the realm of the eternal. It is a spiritual adventure that takes us beyond ourselves, beyond our limitations, into the presence of God, into the power of God. Prayer is a spiritual discipline that requires sincerity, humility, faith. It is not about saying the right words, but about having the right heart. It is not about asking for what we want, but about aligning with what God wants. It is not about getting our will done in heaven, but about getting God's will done on earth. Prayer is a spiritual process that involves listening as much as speaking, receiving as much as asking, surrendering as much as seeking. It is about opening our hearts to God, opening our lives to God, opening our will to God. It is about letting go of our ego, letting go of our control, letting go of our agenda, and letting God be God in our lives. Through prayer, we not just speak to God, but invite him into our lives. We invite him to guide us, to strengthen us, to transform us. We invite him to fill us with his love, his grace, his peace. We invite him to dwell in us, to work in us, to shine through us. Through prayer, we invite the divine into the human, the eternal into the temporal, the spiritual into the physical. Through prayer, we invite heaven into earth, God into man, the sacred into the secular. Through prayer, we invite the power of God into our lives. Daily prayer is not a chore, but a privilege, a private audience with the Creator. Imagine a day filled with the hustle and bustle of life, and yet, amidst all that, you have a standing appointment. This appointment isn't with a friend, a boss, or a doctor. It's with the Creator of the universe. This is the concept of daily prayer. Now, you might be wondering, what's so special about daily prayer? Can't I just pray when I feel like it, or when I'm in a tough spot? Well, you certainly can, and those prayers are important too. But daily prayer, that's something else entirely. You see, daily prayer is a commitment. It's a way of saying, God, you're not just my emergency contact. You're part of my day, every day. It's like having a daily cup of coffee or tea. Not because you're particularly tired or thirsty, but because it's a comforting routine, a moment of calm in a chaotic world. And just as that daily cup of coffee wakes you up, daily prayer wakes up your spirit. It's a spiritual caffeine, if you will, that boosts your faith, hope and love. It's an opportunity to align your heart with God's heart, to tune your spirit to his spirit. But daily prayer isn't just about asking for things. It's about building a relationship. Think about it. If you only talk to a friend when you need something, that's not much of a friendship, is it? But if you check in with them regularly, share your thoughts, your joys, your fears, that's when true friendship blooms. That's what daily prayer is all about. Yet daily prayer isn't just a monologue. It's a dialogue. It's a chance to hear from God too. It's sitting in silence, listening for his still, small voice amidst the noise of life. It's reading his word, seeking his wisdom, discovering his will. And the beauty of daily prayer is that it's not one size fits all. It's not about ticking off a checklist or reciting a script. It's about authenticity, about coming to God just as you are. It's about pouring out your heart, whether in joy or in sorrow, in confidence or in doubt, in words or in silence. In the end, daily prayer is a journey, a journey of faith. It's a journey that takes you deeper into the heart of God, that shapes you more into the likeness of Christ. It's a journey that isn't always easy, but it's always worth it. So consider this, as you go about your day, as you navigate the ups and downs of life, why not make room for daily prayer? Why not make room for a daily encounter with God? Why not make room for a divine appointment, a sacred routine? Daily prayer thus becomes a divine appointment, a sacred routine. Beyond the spiritual, daily prayer holds secrets to a fulfilled life. This statement may seem a bit of an enigma to some, but let's delve a little deeper and uncover the treasure that lies within. The act of daily prayer is not just a religious practice or a duty to fulfill. It's a life-enhancing tool that, when used with consistency and sincerity, can yield surprising benefits that extend well beyond the boundaries of our spiritual existence. These benefits touch the psychological, emotional, and physical aspects of our lives, thus creating a holistic wellness that is often overlooked in our hurried world. Firstly, let's explore the psychological benefits. Our minds are constantly bombarded with information, thoughts, and worries. The modern world is a whirlwind of activity that rarely pauses. 
and our minds often bear the brunt of this relentless pace. However, daily prayer offers a sanctuary, a moment of stillness amid the storm. It's a time to quiet the mind, to focus on something greater than ourselves. This act of quiet reflection can help reduce stress and anxiety while promoting a sense of peace and well-being. Moreover, it can foster a positive mindset. When we pray, we often express gratitude, reflect on our blessings and cultivate hope for the future. This shift towards positive thinking can dramatically influence our outlook on life, enhancing our resilience and equipping us to better handle life's trials and tribulations. Moving on to the emotional realm, prayer serves as an outlet for our deepest feelings and concerns. It allows us to express our fears, our joys, our hopes and our sorrows in a safe and comforting space. We can lay our burdens down, secure in the knowledge that we are heard and understood. This cathartic release can foster emotional stability and provide a sense of comfort and solace, especially in times of difficulty or sorrow. Furthermore, the act of praying for others, known as intercessory prayer, can foster a sense of empathy and connection. It can help us to step outside of our own needs and concerns and consider the well-being of others. This outward focus can promote emotional maturity and a deeper sense of community and belonging. Lastly, let's consider the physical benefits. Yes, you heard it right, physical benefits. While prayer may not replace your fitness regime, it can complement it in surprising ways. Studies have shown that regular prayer can lower blood pressure, improve heart health, and even boost the immune system. The stress reduction associated with prayer can also promote better sleep, improve digestion, and overall bodily relaxation. Moreover, the discipline and consistency required for daily prayer can translate into other areas of our lives, promoting healthy habits and routines. It can encourage us to take care of our bodies, recognizing them as temples that house our spirits. As we've seen, the act of daily prayer, often seen solely as a spiritual undertaking, actually holds a myriad of unseen benefits. It's a tool for mental clarity, emotional stability, and physical wellness. It's a practice that fosters positivity, empathy, and discipline. And most importantly, it's a daily reminder of our connection to something greater than ourselves, a source of comfort and strength in our ever-changing world. So, whether you're a seasoned prayer warrior or just beginning to explore this spiritual practice, remember that the benefits of daily prayer extend far beyond the spiritual. They seep into every facet of our lives, enhancing our mental, emotional, and physical well-being. Indeed, daily prayer is not just good for the soul, but for the whole of our being. It's an invitation to a more fulfilled, balanced and meaningful life. So, why not explore this hidden treasure? After all, the benefits are waiting to be discovered and they're only a prayer away. Prayer, like any skill, can be honed and its benefits amplified. Now let's explore how we can put this into practice. For a start, let's talk about methods. There's no one size fits all when it comes to prayer. Some might find comfort in scripted prayers, like the Lord's Prayer, which offers a structured way to communicate with God. Others may prefer spontaneous prayers, where you speak from the heart, expressing your feelings and thoughts in a conversational manner. Both methods are valid, and both can foster a deep connection with the divine. It's about finding what works best for you. Next, we come to the timing of prayer. While the Bible encourages us to pray without ceasing, it doesn't mean we need to be on our knees all day. Rather, it encourages an ongoing open line of communication with God. Some find the early morning, when the world is still quiet, a perfect time to pray. Others might find comfort in praying at night, reviewing the day with gratitude and seeking guidance for the next. Again, there's no right or wrong here. It's about finding a rhythm that suits your lifestyle and spiritual needs. Now let's talk about places for prayer. While churches are traditional places of worship, prayer isn't confined to these sacred spaces. You can pray anywhere, in your room, in the park, even on a crowded bus. Wherever you are, you can create a sacred space in your heart for prayer. It's about finding a place where you feel comfortable and connected with the divine. Now let's consider the role of faith in prayer. Faith is the foundation of prayer. It's believing in the unseen, trusting in God's wisdom and love. It's about surrendering your worries, your hopes and your dreams to God confident that he hears you. Faith, in its essence, is a deep trust in God's goodness and his plan for your life. Sincerity too plays a crucial role in prayer. 
It's about being honest with God, expressing your true feelings, your doubts and your fears. It's about being vulnerable before God, opening your heart to his love and guidance. Remember, God doesn't need our flattery or pretense. He cherishes our authenticity, our humility, our true selves. But how can we cultivate faith and sincerity in our prayers? Well, one way is through regular reading and meditation on the Bible. As we immerse ourselves in God's word, we can deepen our understanding of his character and his promises. This in turn can bolster our faith and help us approach God with sincerity and confidence. Another way is through fellowship with other believers. Sharing our experiences, our struggles and our victories can help us see God's hand in our lives and the lives of others. It can also provide support and encouragement as we navigate our spiritual journey. Finally, Let's not forget the importance of silence in prayer. Prayer isn't just about speaking, it's also about listening. It's about quieting our minds, stilling our hearts, and opening ourselves to God's voice. It's in these moments of silence that we can truly connect with God, sensing his presence, his peace, and his love. So there you have it. Some practical tips on how to effectively practice daily prayer. Remember, these are just guidelines, not rules. The beauty of prayer lies in its flexibility, its adaptability to our unique spiritual needs. It's a personal journey, a unique dialogue between you and God. In the end, it's not about the words we say, the time we pray or the place we choose. It's about the heart that speaks. It's about the sincerity of our words, the depth of our faith and the openness of our hearts. So let's embrace this journey of prayer, exploring its depths, cherishing its benefits and experiencing its transformative power. Let's cultivate a habit of daily prayer, enriching our lives and deepening our connection with God. Remember, the power of prayer lies not in the words spoken, but in the heart that speaks them. The proof of prayer's power lies in the lives it has transformed. Now we delve into the heart of our exploration, the personal testimonies. These are real stories from everyday individuals whose lives have been profoundly touched by the power of daily prayer. Their experiences serve as living proof of the hidden benefits we've been discussing. Meet Sarah, a single mother of two. In the whirlwind of her daily routine, she felt overwhelmed and on the brink of despair. Life was a constant juggling act between work, bills and raising her children. It was in these moments of desperation that Sarah turned to daily prayer. She didn't seek miracles or immediate solutions. Instead, she found solace in the quiet moments of communion with a higher power. Over time, she noticed a shift in her perspective. The challenges remained, but she felt a newfound strength to face them. Sarah's story underlines the power of prayer to provide emotional strength and resilience. Then there's James, a businessman who found himself at the peak of success, but devoid of inner peace. Despite his accomplishments, something was missing. He began to incorporate prayer into his daily routine, not out of religious obligation, but as a means of inner exploration. Through prayer, James discovered a deeper sense of purpose beyond his material success. He experienced a serenity he hadn't known before. His testimony speaks to the power of prayer in fostering inner peace and purpose. Consider also the story of Emily, a young woman battling a life-threatening illness. In the face of her ordeal, Emily turned to daily prayer. It was her sanctuary, a place where fear and uncertainty gave way to hope and healing. Through prayer, she found the courage to fight her illness. Emily's journey is testament to the healing power of prayer, not just physically, but emotionally and spiritually. Finally, let's look at the experience of Thomas, a retiree who felt lost and purposeless after leaving his career. He began to pray daily, seeking guidance and direction. In the quiet moments of prayer, he discovered a passion for volunteering and serving his community. Prayer led him to a new path, one that brought fulfillment and joy in his golden years. Thomas's story illustrates how prayer can guide us towards our true calling, even when we feel lost. Each of these stories, unique as they are, echo a common theme. They are tales of transformation brought about by the simple act of daily prayer. They validate the benefits we've discussed, resilience, inner peace, healing, and guidance. These aren't abstract concepts or theoretical benefits, they are real and tangible, reflected in the lives of Sarah, James, Emily and Thomas. But these stories are more than mere testimonies. They are an invitation for each of us to explore the power of daily prayer in our own lives. 
We may not all face the same challenges as Sarah or James, Emily or Thomas, but we each have our own battles, our own quests for peace and purpose. And in the quiet sanctuary of prayer, we too can find the strength, the peace, the healing, and the guidance we seek. These personal testimonies are a beautiful reminder that the power of prayer isn't confined to the pages of a sacred book or the walls of a church. It's alive and active in the lives of everyday individuals. It's a force of transformation, ready to touch anyone who opens their heart to it. These testimonies are a testament to the transformative power of daily prayer. Prayer is a journey, not a destination. It's a conversation, not a monologue. Remember these words as we navigate the path of life. As we've journeyed together through the historical context, the spiritual significance, and the practical applications of daily prayer, we've uncovered the hidden benefits that perhaps you weren't aware of before now. Daily prayer has the power to ground us, to connect us with the divine, and to give us strength in times of struggle. It's a time of self-reflection, of peace, and of deep spiritual connection. It's not about asking for what we want, but about aligning our hearts with the heart of the divine, asking for the strength to face whatever comes our way. Let's not forget the transformative power of daily prayer. It's not just about the immediate benefits, but the long-term impact it can have on our lives. The discipline of daily prayer can shape us, mold us, and make us into better versions of ourselves. It can help us become more patient, more loving, more forgiving, and more understanding. The daily practice of prayer isn't just about what we do in those quiet moments, but about how those moments transform the rest of our day. It sets the tone for how we interact with the world around us. It influences our actions, our decisions, and our relationships. It's about living a life that is centered, grounded, and connected. So let's make a commitment. Let's make daily prayer a priority. Let's set aside a few moments each day to connect with the divine, to seek guidance, to find peace and to be transformed. Let's make a conscious effort to incorporate this powerful practice into our daily routine. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. We're all in this together. We're all seeking to live lives that are more meaningful, more fulfilling and more connected. And daily prayer can be a powerful tool to help us achieve that. So dear viewer, will you make daily prayer a part of your life? As we conclude this enlightening journey, we invite you to join our community We've delved into the past, unearthing the roots of daily prayer and its significance in our lives. We've explored the power of prayer, a force that transcends the physical and reaches into the spiritual. We've examined the hidden benefits, those subtle yet profound changes that daily prayer can bring about in our lives. We've also discussed practical applications, ways to incorporate daily prayer into your routine and how to make it a habit rather than a chore personal testimonies from individuals were shared, giving us a glimpse into the transformative power of daily prayer in their lives. And finally, we've offered encouragement, a gentle nudge to inspire you to embark on this journey of daily prayer. If you found value in this content, if it sparked a curiosity or deepened your understanding, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. We delve into various aspects of Christian life, history and teachings, offering a well-rounded perspective that can enhance your spiritual journey. By subscribing, you'll be joining a community of like-minded individuals, people on a similar journey, seeking understanding and spiritual growth. You'll be the first to know when we release new content, allowing you to continue expanding your understanding and deepening your faith. As we wrap up, we hope you carry with you the essence of our discussion today. Remember the power of daily prayer, the benefits it can bring into your life, and the peace and strength it can provide. Consider the practical applications and personal testimonies and let them inspire you to make daily prayer a part of your routine. Thank you for journeying with us today. Remember, in prayer you're never alone. It's a conversation, a connection, a moment of solitude in a bustling world. It's a chance to reflect, to give thanks, to seek guidance and to find peace. Until next time, stay blessed.